We're here now with a legal answer. It's a segment twice a month here on Studio 10. It's brought to you by the Sinus Dramus Law Firm and personal injury attorneys Steve Sinus and Katie Tucker. And joining us this week is Katie Tucker. Always nice to see you. Wonderful to see you as well. <laughs> yes, and we're so happy to have you here because honestly, if you really think about it, hiring a lawyer can be a very daunting task. I know I speak for myself and others selecting that right lawyer for you is a very important decision. So when making that decision, it helps to understand how that attorney gets compensated uh, for their work, right? Absolutely. It's an incredibly important decision and having that context really, I think, does help prospective clients make, make the right choice. Absolutely. So what are some of the options when it comes to paying for an attorney? I know you often hear the commercials uh, saying, no fee unless we win. Yes, there are several different options um, for retaining a, a lawyer depending on the type of claim you want to pursue. In personal injury matters, for example, the most common fee structure is a contingency fee arrangement. And what that means is that there is no compensation owed to the lawyer un unless there is a recovery made by the client, either through a successful settlement, a jury verdict, or an award. Um, in other types of mat matters, like domestic relations matters or um, criminal matters, there are other fee arrangements that are more common and actually contingency fees are a prohibited um, type of fee structure. So um, when we hear no fee unless we win, we're talking about that contingency fee structure. Okay, so how much is a contingency fee if a successful outcome is achieved then? In Michigan, the standard contingency fee is one third or 33 and a third percent of the net sum recovered. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. So that's a Michigan thing right there. Okay. So are there any specific rules regarding contingency fees that the public should know about outside of that? Yes. In Michigan, um, the Michigan court rules, specifically Rule 8.121, actually set that one-third that we just talked about as the maximum fee that a lawyer mm. can charge um, under a contingency fee arrangement. So in Michigan, lawyers are not permitted to charge more than that. In other states, there are different rules that apply, and they may be able to charge more than that. Um, with regard to hourly fees or other types of fee arrangement, there are all also rules that apply, um, specifically the rules of professional conduct that, uh, that govern attorney um, conduct in Michigan, Rule 1.5. Um, addresses the, the issue of fees and um, provides, among other things, that a fee must be reasonable based on a variety of factors. So there absolutely are rules in Michigan that govern what a lawyer can charge you for their services. It's important to be aware of those and to know that one-third is that maximum and standard um, contingency fee, especially in a personal injury matter. No, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for breaking all that down. I think that really helps. I know uh, our community and our viewers out there, too, so that they know what they're getting into absolutely. if they have to hire a lawyer. So thank you so much. And of course, remember, you can ask specific legal questions by going to Sinus Dramus with the information all on your screen. But thanks so much, Katie. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure to be here and we look forward to coming back and answering more of your questions.